Hey folks, this is Shane from Performance EV. Today, we're gonna to take a deep dive into a Nissan Leaf battery pack. Hey folks, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for joining us. For those of you new to this channel, this is my project to put a Nissan Leaf motor into a Porsche 911. Um, and to date, we've been doing a lot of work on the uh, kind of the drive side of things. So we've got the motor and inverter in place and actually driving the car a little bit back and forth. Now we need to start thinking about a proper traction battery. And for that, we've got this behind me. So this is the battery module or battery pack from a Nissan Leaf. And we're going to do today, we're going to do a deep dive in the style of some of my older videos, um, taking an in-depth look at the at the battery pack and then um, stripping it for parts. So come on, let's go. Looking at, a bat at battery packs for a while, but haven't really found one that met my criteria. Um, most of the Leaf ones that I found were the 24 kilowatt hour model, um, which and generally were quite high mileage. So they weren't really going to give me what I was looking for in terms of um, distance or power. But I've recently had the option to buy this one which is a 40 kilowatt hour pack from a 2019 Nissan Leaf that only has about 15 or 1600 miles on it so it's um, very low mileage it's the more dense version of the pack and should give me something close to the the distance that I want to get out of the car now whether it will give me the power that's open for debate but that's why we're doing this project to try and figure these things out so taking a quick look around the outside of the pack, there's not actually a huge amount to see. Obviously you've got your physical mounting points along the sides of the pack where it bolts into the, the leaf. You've got your um, power quick disconnect at the top, which allows us to get rid or to, I guess, decharge the anything outside of the battery pack. So we might see if we can reuse that somewhere on my system. And then we've got our um, connectivity points for the different different parts of the system so I think some of these will match up with things I got from my 2014 leaf pack or leaf um, inverter but other bits may not And of course, we've got a big warning label because to be honest, it is dangerous inside. Um, it is high voltage. So we'll need to be very careful with um, touching anything inside. But yeah, let's start um, taking this apart. So there are five 10 mil bolts on either side of the box and six on that middle plate that houses the, um, the cutoff. So we'll get those undone and then we'll see what we can do about getting inside the box. I noticed while I was going around taking things off, there's actually a date stamp on this battery pack. Um, so I don't know whether that's the 8th of December 2019 or the 12th of August 2019. I'm guessing probably 12th of August 2019. But that means this pack's six months old, max. Um, it looks like it was actually made here in the UK where uh, Nissan actually have a plant for these sorts of things. So I'm pretty sure there's going to be all sorts of sealant and stuff and the only way to get this off is um, leverage with a long metal pole um, which always carries some risk when you're around electronics. So I'm going to just tape up um, the tools I'm going to use and use some high voltage insulating gloves even though they look a little bit ridiculous. Around the perimeter of this thing with a screwdriver just to lift up the lip and then a blade to cut in as deep as I can. Hopefully that's released enough of the adhesion between the two surfaces that I can actually uh, just pry the rest out. Thank you. 
So for those of you wondering why I took off the big ridiculous gloves part way around is I realised there's quite a big lip um, just inside the the top cover uh, so there wasn't any risk of me hitting any high voltage stuff while running the blade around uh, so I dispensed with them but now um, I'm going to put them back on I, I trust Nissan to have designed this well I've seen pictures of the inside and everything seems to be well insulated but I'm not going to take a silly risk So there we have it in all its glory. Uh, Nissan Leaf, I guess third generation battery pack. So this is the 40 kilowatt hour model. Um, before I do any disassembly on it, let's, let's take a look inside and see what the components are. So after that little flyover, let's take a look at some of the components. So the most important thing, of course, is the cells themselves. So there's 24 modules in here. Um, each module consists of four cells and has a nominal voltage of just under 15 volts. Um, and I think the, in terms of current potential, it's 120 amp hours. So there's 12 here at the back four in the middle and then eight at the front and then in between the eight at the front you've got your high voltage junction box essentially so that's our main contactors and then you've also got in between the uh, middle section is the isolation switch the one thing to note about this particular battery box or battery pack is that there's no active cooling um, and th this is something that people get frustrated with Nissan about uh, you know why don't they do it their theory is that the with sensible management of the lithium-ion batteries um, through software and you know taking signals from the BMS and throttling things back as and when is needed that they don't need active cooling. We'll see. Um, I'm going to try and reuse the the native Leaf BMS and just output it to um, external systems, so I can see what it's capable of. And we can always add some sort of cooling in the future, be it some sort of air blowing through it or um, liquid cooling. But for the moment, I think I'll just try and use the pack as is. So if we start from the external connections, we've got our high voltage direct to the um, power delivery module. So this goes in and, or this is where the power is directed into the, from the battery into the inverter. And as you can see, that joins up with our high voltage relays, uh, which are Panasonic units. And then in between them, you've got your pre-charge resistor um, and various other components. So we'll dig into that deeper once I've managed to disconnect um, the modules and get them out. You'll also see the black wires running throughout the piece, which are our BMS wires coming out through this connector here. So there we have it. We have our battery. Well, our first battery. We may end up with multiple in this car, who knows. We'll see what we can bring out of this one. So that's a Nissan Leaf 40 kilowatt hour battery pack. Um, top taken off it and a look at the inside. It's a pretty neat, simple setup. Um, as I said in the, the video, Nissan have gone with um, a non-actively cooled uh, setup. So there's no water pumps 
or water pipes running through. There's no um, air conditioning units or anything like that to try and cool the the batteries, and they they try and manage it through the BMS and what it'll allow in or out of the battery at any given time based on the the temperatures. So the units themselves are you know seem to be pretty neat. We'll get a much better look at them when I um, when I actually tear this thing down. So that's essentially the next plan is to take this apart um, piece by piece, get it right down to the individual cells, get them all out of the, the pack um, and then figure out based on the size of them. I, I know the dimensions already, but it's kind of easier when you can see them uh, in front of you based on the size of them, what they are going to look like in inside the port, you know, where are they going to fit? I'm hoping I can get the majority of them, if not all of them in the space where the engine used to be. Um, but I'll have to obviously think about that quite carefully. Um, ideally, I'd like to be able to use as much as many of the bus bars and existing wiring lengths for the, the BMS as I can, but um, if I can't, there are ways around that, obviously. It's just a little bit more work. I'm trying to figure out now what to do in terms of building the battery box for the, um, for the Porsche, and what I'm thinking is I might try and see if I can reuse the um, the actual box that the, the leaf was in, but we'll we'll dig into that a bit further when we um, when we look at it in depth. So yeah, I hope I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, it's quite a cool milestone for me to get a battery. Um, I've been you know mulling over this for months uh, about what to get. Uh, this one came up. I just couldn't couldn't pass on it mainly because of how um, new and in good condition it is um, so we'll yeah we'll get this torn down in the next video and we'll um, yeah see where we go from there um, so yeah if you've liked this you know please, please feel free to subscribe click the like icon drop a comment in the the comment section I do do read them all time all the time um, but till next time I hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you then